it's frustrating. Louisville mom Laura Couture is fed up with worrying about school safety. You start to question if you want to send your kids to school, if you want to keep them home from school. Last week, she kept her daughter home from school after a threatening Snapchat message got around to students at Huffines Middle School in Louisville ISD. It's just one of several hoax threats going around. Since last week, there have been threats against more than seven schools across North Texas. This is a national thing. Former Dallas Police Chief Craig Miller worked with schools in Dallas for nearly a decade and witnessed a rise in social media threats against schools. He says it's common before holiday breaks or finals. Here's the thing, whether or not the threats turn out to be credible, making them is a federal crime. I think it's really important for kids to understand that there's consequences to their actions and this is something that's going to follow you throughout your entire life. The FBI is also stressing how serious this problem is. Just listen to this. Making a threat even on social media can lead to five years in federal prison or local charges. It's important for school administrators to understand that you have to step back and let law enforcement do their job and if a crime has been committed, in other words, if a kid has met the elements of a terroristic threat, then we need to handle this as a criminal incident. Just two days ago, Arlington police charged a middle schooler in Arlington ISD with making a terroristic threat. It's a felony and another student was arrested and charged at Louisville ISD. I think the hard part is knowing where we go from here. It takes a village. School district leaders are urging parents to talk to their kids, even if it's a difficult conversation. In Tarrant County, I'm Adriana Dale.